Let's take a little look at the duplication on demand system in action. So here I'm looking at WebReach, which is our circulation software for talking books that communicates with this duplication on demand system. I have pulled up my own account here. And once I'm inside the account, I'm going to select duplication on demand. And let's go ahead and look for a book. It was Bookface Friday this last week called Let's Be Reasonable. I'm gonna pull that up. Oops, it disappeared. Here we are. I'm simply going to select Let's Be Reasonable, and it's going to add that to a cart here. So in order to create the book, I'm gonna move this out of the way so we can see what's going on. This is the Gutenberg screen showing books that have been duplicated. Already this morning, a bunch of books are ready to go into the mail that have these green lights beside them. Um, if they're gray, they don't have anything. Those need cartridges to be added. So I'm gonna take a couple of blank cartridges and put them into the machine over here just so the whole machine is full and ready to duplicate. Put this one here, this one here. When I go back here, we'll see that those have now turned blue as have the rest of them down these two columns. So let's say someone had called in or come into the office and requested, let's be reasonable. This is basically what we would do. We would put it, we'd pull up their account, we would put the book into a cart, and then in order to create this, I'm simply going to click on place order. It's going to confirm all the information for that. Click place order again. And now we'll look back here and we should see this turn a yellow color while it's formatting and duplicating it. Here comes the duplication. After it finishes duplicating, it will go through a quick verification process. and turn green along with that little beep there. So now we know that that finished. This entire screen mimics the shape of all of these cartridges loaded in. So we know that we just duplicated this one here. I'm gonna pull this out. On the back of each of these cartridges, there is a serial number. So I'm going to go over to the scanner and swipe the serial number. That is turning on this printer over here, which we can also see on the screen over here just to verify. Um, over here it's showing that I indeed ordered a copy of Let's Be Reasonable. Now we go over here and we get that mail card that will look the same as the image that we just saw on the screen. And then to mail this out, I would take a mailing container. I'll put the book in here. This is sort of difficult to do with one hand as I'm holding the camera here. We'll turn that over. Our return address is already printed on the cartridge. So I would then put this in the mail or give to a patron and their book is ready to play. And in fact, we can test it out here. I brought a machine over. When a patron receives this, they would simply turn their machine on. Player on. Press any button to learn about its function. And take this cartridge and put it in. One, book. Bookshelf instructions. We're going to skip the instructions for now. Bookshelf. One. Book. Book. One. Let's Be Reasonable. Let's Be Reasonable by Joel Sartori. DB1183. Copyright 2011 by the Board of Regents of the University of Nebraska. Read by Introduction. Let's Be Reasonable. If you really want to know the truth, I'm irritated. Many folks today absolutely refuse to keep an open mind. And that's basically how it works. When they would finish with this book, they would pull the cartridge out, put it back into the mailing container here, close this up, and then simply remove this mail card here, which contains the manifest of what books are on the cartridge, and then just put this back in the mail with our return address, and it will come back to us to be used again.